Well, it's time to review another model kit, and I thought, you know, this time why not do something a little bit different and make the assembly its own video. Now, I'm still going to fast forward through a bunch of the build because it's just going to be really, really boring watching me build this entire thing step by step because I don't do model kits that often, so this is going to be clunky. Probably not that visually appealing, but why not? Since I don't want to, I don't want to bog down the actual toy review of the finished model kit with all of the assembly. So I'm just gonna do it as its own thing and see how it works. I think I'm gonna call it a uh, video build, a V build, if you will. Nah, I don't like that. Uh, let's just go with assembly line for this one. As you can see on the line today is a Kotobukiya. D style Gao Gaigar. My love of Gao Gaigar continues evermore, and I've been looking forward to this because it seems to do quite a lot for a typical model kit. Now, on the back, it's got a coloring guide, so you can tell that while this model could probably stand on its own, and much to my surprise, there are a few pre painted pieces included. That's a nice touch. I don't have to stick or anything. Uh, it would definitely benefit from actual paintwork. Uh, I'm not that good at painting, but I might do it later on uh, as an afterthought. Who knows? I'm not going to film it, but just might as well mention it. This is probably going to be much improved with paint. And Whoa. Okay, I uh, didn't know it did that. It's going to be a little bit more complicated than I thought. We start off with the white pieces, so um, yeah. I'm going to get started while you listen to some uh, very most likely highly inappropriate music for putting together something as awesome as Gal Gygar. So, hopefully it won't be a complete disaster. So far, through one episode of Nostalgia Critic, yeah, while I build models, I tend to catch up on videos I've been putting off, I have successfully built a lion's head, which actually has some inbuilt green lights. I actually, well, it's translucent plastic trying to be lights. It's a little dark, at least from my angle right now. And a couple of legs. So I'm kind of building Galleon right now. Um, see how much farther I get here. Um, in the meantime, figure out, uh, tell me what you like to do while you build a model, because this is just sitting in place a long, long time. Uh, we all have our favorite ways of uh, keeping our brain occupied. Tell me what you do hunched over so long. My back is killing me. Okay, um, now is an important time to go over a quick tip about uh, model construction. Um, yeah, you might want to keep a towel on the floor underneath you or if you're assembling on a small table like this, because when pieces go flying, uh, if you have a tile floor like I do, they bounce into infinity and never return. So, <laughs> it's, it's easy when it's a piece this big. Um, when it's one of these little polycaps, yeah, you're kind of boned. So, be mindful. I 
I have finished Galleon and oh my god, he is all cute! Oh my god, okay, okay, save it for the review, save it for the review, but progress made! One done! Galliner. That was surprisingly easy. Not even through the next episode yet. Marching on! Okay, I'm going to assume this part is important because they put a little exclamation point on it. Little exclamation points on Japanese models means don't screw this up or else. I had to learn that the hard way. Be glad I warned you. Stealth Gow done. Helps that most of it's painted, and apparently wants me to store part of the main on it, so... I don't know, I can fly by and cut people up with buzz saws or something. I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just finding places to put kibble in vehicle mode. Anyway, three done. Okay, time to open this thing up and I have absolutely no room for this. And there's Drill Gal. That's all four. <laughs> Just in time, just ran out on Nostalgia Critic episodes. Hmm, let's see. Oh god. I still have the helmets to do. I still have the divining driver to. There's hands? I have to put together the hands? Oh god. Gotta do this in silence now? Okay. I have to give the model makers credit. The G stone inside the head for Gal Gygar is actually on the sprue marked G. Bonus points, Kotobukiya. By the way, I have actually held off insanity for a moment. I found some Dragon Ball Z Kai I have been uh, neglecting as well. Back to models. Okay, I'm kind of impressed. They actually include a stick. The whole point of the stick is to move ball joints, or polycaps rather, into other positions. You literally just put it in the polycap, turn in the right direction, take it out. And apparently we needed a special stick for that. You know, I keep toothpicks personally. Oh crap, polycap, way over there, way over there, behind camera, impossible to get, jeez, and it was going so well, well, it's actually pretty much 
done, to be honest with you. I mean, the only thing I really had left to assemble was the Gao Gaigar helmet. Everything else is pretty much here. There's all the Gaos. Uh, you know, a little liner. There's the dividing driver in the cutest form it can possibly be in. And everything else is just pretty much parts that hang around until you need them. This is pretty much it. Uh, the total assembly time for this one was, um... Well, I can't really measure it in Nostalgia Critic episodes, can I? So, um, I'm just gonna look at the total time on film and put it right here. Somewhere between these two things I call hands. So, somewhere in here, hopefully, I'll remember to put the total time of assembly. It's a fun little build. I mean, the model, the model kit is simplified. There's some hollow parts to it, and every, a lot of it's, you know, just kind of molded in single pieces. But it does everything it needs to do, and, yeah, I had fun building it. Um, so, hopefully soon, you, uh, probably a couple, day or two after I, uh, you see this video, you will see a full-on review where we will see these gows fully assembled into the King of Braves. Oh, uh, I just realized I, I could have been watching Gal Gygar this whole time. Ah, uh, God, wasted opportunities. Uh.